Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So this read aloud is going to be for Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. I have a good snooze. <laughs> um, Dylan had a good snooze. So uh, you might have been wondering why you haven't seen as many read alouds from us lately. That but book. And this is the book we're going to read today, right? Uh, my class, however, has been hearing from me on a daily basis, maybe more than they want to, um, through shared reading, math, writing, um, and things like that. So I decided to start sharing some read-alouds from celebrities and things that I that I found out there. Look, um, I have a messy hair. Messy hair, that's all right. So on Monday, or Tuesday, sorry, I shared a read-aloud of The Gruffalo that Michelle Obama read out loud to you by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Scheffler? Shuffler, yes, Axel Shuffler. So Dylan had this in his library. He also happens to have The Gruffalo's Child. So I thought for today, I would read The Gruffalo's Child to you. Make sure they can see. <laughs> the Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo should ever set foot in the deep, dark wood. Why not? Why not? Because if you do, the big bad mouse will be after you. I met him once, said the Gruffalo. I met him a long, long time ago. What does he look like? Tell us, Dad. Is he terribly big and terribly bad? One snowy night, when the Gruffalo snored, the Gruffalo's child was feeling bored. The Gruffalo's child was feeling brave, so she tiptoed out of the Gruffalo cave. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. Into the wood that went the Gruffalo's be child. A beast. a beast. It does look like a beast. This is the baby Gruffalo. Remember the Gruffalo from the story that we watched when Mich Michelle Obama read it? Mm -hmm. This is the Gruffalo's He's baby. High. He is hiding behind the tree there, see? So look, Dylan, this is the Gruffalo's baby. And his daddy. Aha, oh ho, a trail in the snow. Whose is this trail and where does it go? A tail poked out of a log pile house. Could this be the tail of the big bad mouse? What tail do you think that is, Dylan? Whose tail? Um... A snake. Maybe a snake, like from the, the Gruffalo, the other Gruffalo story. <gasps> you were right. It was a snake. Out slid the creature. His eyes were small, and he didn't have whiskers. No, not at all. You're not the mouse, not I, said the snake. He's down by the lake eating Gruffalo cake. The snow fell fast, and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. Aha! Oh ho! Marks in the snow. Whose are those? These claw marks. Where do they go? Two eyes gleamed out of a treetop house. Could these be the eyes of the big bad mouse? Dylan, whose eyes do you think those are? Um, owls. <gasps> Maybe owls. Oh, you were right. See? <laughs> Down flew the creature. His tail was short, and he didn't have whiskers of any sort. You are not the mouse. To ho! Not I. But he's somewhere nearby eating gruffalo pie. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. <laughs> Aha, oh ho, a track in the snow. Whose is this track and where does it go? Whiskers at last and an underground house. Could this be the home of the big bad mouse? Uh-huh. You think? Who's that? Who do you think that is peeking out uh -huh. there? A mouse. I think it might be the mouse. Let's see. Uh -huh. <gasps> it's not a mouse. What is it? A fox. A fox. Out slunk the creature. His eyes weren't fiery. His tail wasn't scaly. His whiskers weren't wiry. You are not the mouse. Oh, no, not me. He's under the tree drinking Gruffalo tea. It's all a trick, said the Gruffalo's child, as she sat on a stump where the snow lay piled. I don't believe in the big bad mouse. <gasps> Look, who is it? A mouse. A mouse. But here comes a little one out of his house. Not big, not bad, but a mouse at least. You'll taste as good a as a midnight a snowman. feast. And a snowman. Yeah, the snowman too. Wait, said the mouse. Yeah, sit back so they can see, honey. Go 
one. Wait, said the mouse, but before you eat, there's a friend of mine that you ought to meet. If you'll let me hop onto a hazel twig, I'll beckon my friend so bad and so big. The Gruffalo's child unclenched her fist, the big bad mouse, so he does exist. The mouse hopped into the hazel tree. He beckoned then said, just wait and see. Look, there's the mouse. What's this on the ground, do you think? The mouse is what? Um. Let's read and see. Out came the moon. It was bright and round. A terrible shadow fell to the ground. Whose shadow is that? Um, mommy and Daddy. <laughs> I think that's the mouse's shadow, see? The mouse. But he doesn't know that. He thinks it's a creature. Who is this creature so big, bad, and strong? His tail and his whiskers are terribly long. His ears are enormous, and over his shoulder he carries a nut as big as a boulder. I think the baby Gruffalo's scared. <laughs> The big bad mouse yelled the Gruffalo's child. The mouse jumped down from the twig and smiled. Aha, aha, prince in the snow. Whose are these footprints? Where do they go? The footprints led to the Gruffalo cave, where the Gruffalo's child was a bit less brave. The Gruffalo's child was a bit less bored. And the Gruffalo snored and snored and snored. The end. The end. Thanks for joining in. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Bye.